Hi everyone, this is Brian Forster speaking and I am hoping to introduce you to Palenque if you've never heard of it before, which is an ancient Maya site in Mexico. Its original name in the Mayan language was Bac and also anciently known as La Camha, which means big water. It was a Maya uh, city-state in southern Mexico that flourished in the 7th century. The Palenque ruins themselves date from 226 BC to about 799 AD. After its decline, it was absorbed into the jungle of cedar, mahogany, and sapodilla trees, but has since been excavated and restored and is now a very famous archaeological site attracting thousands of visitors, but it's not overdone in terms of tourism. It's a, a beautiful place. It's located near the Usumacinta River in the Mexican state of Chiapas, and that's about 130 kilometers south of Ciudad del Carmen. Palenque is a medium-sized site, much smaller than huge sites such as Tikal, Chichen Itza, or Copan, but it contains some of the finest architecture, sculpture, roof comb, and bas-relief carvings that the Maya ever produced. Much of the history of Palenque has been reconstructed from reading the hieroglyphic inscriptions on the many monuments. Historians now have a long sequence of the ruling dynasty of Palenque in the 5th century and extensive knowledge of the city-state's rivalry with other states such as Calakmul and Toninia. The most famous ruler of Palenque was called Kinich Yanab Pakal or Pakal the Great, whose tomb has been found and excavated in the so-called Temple of Inscriptions. This is actually a ball court you're looking at. And here, though a little bit wavy, is winding down an ancient staircase to part of the uh, older structure. As you can see, it's very much in the jungle area of, uh, of Mexico. And this is just one of the ancient reconstructed staircases there. So the site is reasonably large. It's not as big as, um, for example, Machu Picchu in Peru, but uh, has been astonishingly well taken care of by the Mexican government. It's a, a really beautiful site, and I hope that if you have a chance, you'll be able to uh, visit it at some time. And for now, thank you. And here is a, a book related to Palenque that I wrote. And if you have a chance, I hope you will purchase it. Until next time, this is Brian Forster of Hidden Inca Tours.